Hello everyone, I present to you my final product for ENME 351. It is a Arduino Rover powered by a double gearbox from uh, Tamiya brand paired with its tank and uh, tank track wheel set. It is connected to my Arduino and an Arduino I would have to um, also uh, connect a motor shield so it'd make it easier to connect both of my motors through here. This is my power source connect coming from the battery pack. This powers just the DC motors. Now, this up here, this is an ultrasonic distance sensor and this is a ArduCam Mini. The distance sensor is just reading an object that would be in front of it and uh, according to the distance, the buzzer would beep and also the LED would light up. The ArduCam on the other hand, um, it is just being powered by the Arduino but actually is uh, video feed is provided by the manufacturer's um, own uh, application. For these two components, I would ha I had to get another Arduino because the voltage wasn't enough to power the motor shield and this Arduino to power everything just by what that by one battery pack. Now I'll demonstrate to you how this rover works. So this rover mainly is reading signals using this Bluetooth module. Now this Bluetooth module connects to an app that is very easily accessible on uh, an Android phone. So how this works is mainly you just connect the app to the Bluetooth module. With the Bluetooth module on, you would see that it's very easy to just connect select the Bluetooth module. This would turn green. That means it's ready to go. So you just set the velocity right here. Set it to its maximum. Then you can go ahead and move it. It's actually very easily res uh, responsive. Uh, the rover moves. Now I'm going to show you how this is being read on processing. So my distance sensor in processing it reads reads the distance so when it's greater than 30 centimeters it's gonna read out of range and then the sound is gonna keep increasing increasing as, as I go closer and closer and when I reach less than five centimeters the LED turns red. Last but not least, I would show you how my ArduCam Mini works. So uploading the code to the Arduino and then going to the manufacturer's application, you open the COM port, you select continuous reading, and then you click capture. And as you see right there, camera is working perfectly. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, if you want to recreate this project. It was very helpful and very fun to do. Thank you again.